Observability is not just knowing the problem is happening, but knowing why it is happening and knowing how I can go in and fix it. We have about a little over 100 services in production today um, at five different languages. How do you scale that out in an organization? How do you uh, manage having different libraries and all those different systems and being able to rapidly develop in those? Lightstep has been the best way. We've been able to do that. Every service on our platform can use it. And so this allows us to very quickly and very easily identify problems regardless of what language you're programming in or doing anything in. Three years ago, we identified wanting to really put some heavy investment into storefront performance. We wanted to be kind of the industry leading standard of it. That was really important to us because as anyone in e-commerce knows, um, any delay in a storefront render is gonna impact conversion for that merchant. For example, if you're having a flash sale, big sale like we've had before on our platform, um, you need inventory to data to be exactly up to date. You can't have it be, you know, two minutes late and then someone comes in, orders an item and then realizes, oh, it's out of stock halfway through the checkout process. It's a really subpar experience for our merchants. We have some very high value merchants on our platform um, that transact lots and lots of dollars per day. And so we actually have streams just for those merchants. And they have just streams that we monitor on and then we get immediate impact if their storefronts start to be impacted. We heavily use streams in Lightstep. Um, it's kind of a, the bread and butter of getting things out. And what's really nice about the streams in Lightstep is they have the uh, monitoring pushes into our Slack system. So we push um, when SLOs are violated. And so that has been really helpful for the storefront teams because they could then compare those SLOs to the prior system and be able to quickly tell what performance bands were and where areas of investment were needed. We look at our Lightstep graphs and you can see then the rendering requests through at least six or seven different services as they fan out. And, you know, we're doing this in parallel, which makes, you know, more traditional tracing systems would struggle with this. Lightstep's been pretty great in that you can then um, kind of pan that out and see all the different uh, streams as they're going through. And then we can see the rendering request. I need to then see that distributed trace and go, oh, my inventory service over here is all of a sudden taking, you know, 10% longer than it normally does to render this. And oh, that's because the Redis infrastructure, something's going on in the background and we're having some latency impacts. Immediate ability to tell very quickly what's going on and why, and then be able to address that. And you just can't get that without tracing. Couldn't have really done that on a different system. And Lightstep has given us a lot of visibility and power into being able to roll that out with confidence without knowing again that we would impact our merchants and their bottom lines. So it's given us a lot of safety and confidence to be able to do that quickly. That is invaluable to our SRE teams here and to our um, incident managers here. That's just, the, the value there is just infinitely valuable to them because they can then quickly go in and identify problems and be able to then mitigate them. And then the hard problems become, okay, how do I solve this problem that I've identified and known? Not where is our stuff breaking in our very large systems and architecture? That's really where you want to be investing your time and your effort and your money, not into just trying to figure out what's going on. It's really neat to be able to then go on Lightstep and see the whole service graph visually displayed out. That's very helpful because it allows us to very quickly then immediately go to the target problem um, rather than having to piece that through numbers and metrics on a graph. And we really didn't have that visibility even with our Zipkin infrastructure prior um, that we have now with Lightstep. Lightstep has been pretty great for us. Um, we really appreciate it. It has really helped us establish a performance-oriented culture here in a very metric-driven way. Um, that's you know hard to do in engineering teams as they grow because there are different incentives coming on engineering teams from all different realms, from both business sales, all that kind of stuff. They're going to put pressures on teams. And to be able to say at a very objective and data-focused way, no, we need to adhere to these standards and to give teams carrots in regards to that. To say, you know what? You hold to this SLO, we'll give you all this information and tooling to help you get there. And that's been you know invaluable to be able to provide that.